What's going on YouTube? Back today to show you the Milo tank. This is a fairly new tank, hasn't been on the market very long. Um, uses Atlantis coils. It's got 0.5 ohm coil in it right now. Um, not exactly sure what else it come with. Hang on a second. Let's, uh, let's do the proper unboxing of this. Sorry about that. I guess I can stick it back in the box and we'll pretend that I just opened it, okay? We can do that. All right, YouTube, I'm back. Um, today with the Milo tank. Um, just got this in not too long ago. It's a new tank. It's just been on the market. Uh, not, not very long, I don't think. You open the box. It's got, uh, it's got the E-Leaf Milo on the top. Got the authentication code on the bottom. You can scratch it off and prove that it's it's a real piece. It's got e-leaf written on it. Milo on the top, e-leaf on the back. All right, when you open it up, if your tank doesn't just come flying out, it'll look like that. Comes with a coil installed already, a 0.5 ohm, and it's got one extra coil that comes with it. These are the Milo coils. This one is another 0.5 ohm, but it will also take. Like I said, your Spire Atlantis coils. They look almost exactly the same, except for, I guess, the material inside the Milo is a little bit different. So uh, It's supposed to be 100% organic cotton. Um, seen a video of somebody ripping one apart. I, there's something else in there, some other kind of filler. Good flavor, though. Um, I've been rocking this one. I've probably run, say, 15, 20 milliliters of juice through it, and it still fires like it's brand new. So... I mean, it's, it's working out pretty well. Running 80% VG through it right now. So it'll handle, I'm pretty sure it'll handle your 100% VGs, your dripper lines, that kind of stuff, if you want to put those through here. Um, the airflow on it is kind of comparable to the Atlantis. Maybe... I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I haven't had an Atlantis for a few days. You know, I haven't tried one in a little while. But I think it might be a little bit more open or about the same. I'm not 100% sure. I can't, I have to compare them side by side and I don't have one right now. But it does have adjustable airflow on it. Okay. It's got a little notch right there. You see that little pin as you spin it? See how it's closed off on this side? The most closed off you can get is one hole. Okay. And I don't know if they're probably like two millimeter holes or something like that. But if you look back on this side, you can slide it. And as you slide it, it'll open up more holes on this side. So you can get two holes on this side and then three holes on this side. So that's how I vape. It's wide open. You can close it down and turn down the wattage if you want to. Um, I just prefer to vape mine wide open. Now let me take this base off here. Now I've got it screwed on there pretty tight. Now, when you take the base off of it, there's a center tube in there, just like any other, you know, clear miser tank. Almost all of them have that center tube, just like that. See the four holes? That is, um, the holes line up on the coil itself, and that's what the juice feeds through. Now, from what I understand, you can get this glass tank off there, but I have tried and tried and have yet to get it off there. So what I do is I just slosh around a bunch of water in there, and then I'll, um, you know, clean it out. Here's the coil head right here. And let's go ahead and take that out. It's a pretty juicy thing when you take it apart. So, I mean, it's not cleanly. But um, there's the inside of the coil base. It's where it makes contact in there. And if juice does get down in there, it's sealed on the bottom. So if it does, um, you know, get in there while you're doing your thing, when you go to, when you go to take a, you know, take a pull off of it, it'll pull it back through these air holes and then back into the coil. So, I mean, it's got two fairly large air holes um, to feed it. And the air, you know, of course, the air comes through these. But, I mean, it, it's got pretty good airflow for, for a sub tank. I like it. Um, I actually like it a lot more than the Kanger sub tank. Um, it's probably right about on par with the, um, the Atlantis. So for the Atlantis, I don't know if this one's got an extendable tank on it or not yet, but I know the Atlantis, you can get like a 5 mil, and um, from what I understand, there's like a 7.5 mil tank out there, which is pretty big. 
But for the Atlantis, I mean, most Atlantis, you can get them for um, 35 bucks roughly online. But if you go to a, like a, a brick and mortar store, you're going to pay 45 uh, 45 bucks all the way up to like 55 60 dollars now this tank here costs 20 to 25 dollars on most websites so for a cheaper atlantis um this is a way to go i think now a couple things about it um definitely before you um first time you use a new coil you'll put a couple drips in there around that mesh screen um, for I understand, that's a spitback screen to help keep it from popping in your mouth and stuff like that. Make sure you put two or three drops in there and let it soak in. And what I do is I put a drop or two in each one of the uh, juice holes, and there's four of them on these coils. Put a drop or two in there and let it set for a few minutes. Make sure that inner material is nice and soaked, because if you dry fire this, when you first take a hit, you're going to know because it's going to taste horrible. And then that taste will either stay there the entire time or that coil is going to be completely fried. So you gotta make sure it's you know completely saturated before you do it, okay? Another thing is when you go to clean this, there's that bottom O-ring there, right? You'll see it, you know, closest to this lip right here where my finger is. That is a shaped O-ring. It's flat on one side and curved on the other. And I don't know if I can get out of there because it's never come out, but um, I've had several people talk about this O-ring. And it's curved on the top and I think flat on the bottom. So you're going to make sure whichever way that it's in there. Um, and I, I honestly cannot tell. It looks like it's flat. It looks like the flat side goes towards the tank itself and the curved side goes on the bottom. But either way, I hear if you get that in there backwards, um, it'll leak. So if it's leaking or you're getting some issues, try flipping that O-ring around, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and top this uh, tank off real quick. A little bit of juice I got left of this kind. Um, main thing you want to do is make sure you don't get any in the center, you know, like most of your other tanks. And you want to drip around the outside or fill up around the outside. So what I do is sometimes I'll just put the tank, you know, right in one of those slots and then tilt it. Or put the bottle in one of the, the juice flow slots. And just fill it up. And I usually fill it up right about until it gets to those juice channels okay and then just put your, uh, your coil head back down in there make sure it's tight now as you tighten this down you'll see that they're those juice channels see how the the, the uh, wicking material for the coil is not lined up just back it off a little bit until they line up okay and it's got some extra threads there so it um, It'll, it won't leak, but it'll um, allow you to open those up. Just make sure they're open all the way, because I don't think there's any way you're going to you know, over wick in this thing. Now, the thing is, this drip tip that comes with it, it is a, a glass look-alike. I think it's plastic. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because you know it's, it's actually pretty sturdy, so I can't tell if it's glass or plastic. It feels like glass, to be honest with you. Um, it does get some... Uh, condensation and juice buildup on the inside of it but the main thing is on the inside of this tank you can see it there is right there on that lip there's a bunch of juice in there so if you put the drip tip in there and then you turn this thing that juice will eventually start to roll out so if you lay it on its side or anything like that you may get a drop or two to come out of that uh that chamber there and it's kind of gets juice all over the place and makes a little bit of a mess it's not huge but uh it's there um, I got juice all over me right now from, from playing with the coil and all that good stuff. What I do is I just put it back on the, on my mod and I open it up all the way, firing it at 20, about 28 Watts. It'll, it says on the coil itself, I don't even know if I can get it up close enough or not. And I doubt it, but, uh, right there on the coil itself, you see some printing, probably can't read it, but there's some printing there. And it says 20 to 30 watts, and then underneath it has 0 0.5 ohms written on it. Um, I've seen people fire this thing up to 40, 45 watts. Um, to me, that is, it's very intense, very hot, um, right on the edge of where you feel like it's going to start drying out. But probably about my sweet spot is about 28 watts. So it works out pretty good. 
I like it quite a bit. Um, you can even use this on a mechanical. I have an older Panzer clone. This thing is just, I mean, it's been through the ringer. It's about beat up, tore up pretty good. Um, but yeah, you can put it on a, on a mechanical and this one doesn't have a very good spring in it. I need to find a replacement spring for it. But, um, even with a, a low grade mech, it'll still work out pretty well. So, I mean, I still like it. Which is good because, uh, I'm getting ready to get rid of that smoke BT 50. And I'll need something to vape on until my vape mail gets here tomorrow. Um, let's see here. So, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty versatile tank. Works pretty well on mechs, too. So, other than that, that's about all I got left for the uh, the Milo tank. It does use Atlantis coil, so keep that in mind. If you got a bunch of Atlantis coil stocked up and you want to you want another tank, but you don't want to spend you know full a whole you know whole bunch for um, for the Atlantis, you can get a Milo tank, and it's almost exactly the same. It is cheaper. It's made by E Leaf. Um, the, the sturdiness of it, it's pretty sturdy all the way around, but it's definitely lighter than in Atlantis. You can feel the weight difference. It's not too bad, though. Um, it's, like I said, a pretty good tank for 25 to 30 bucks. Um, I got it from VaporDNA.com, and they also had a promotion that if you spent over $35, you can get $10 off. So I got the Milo tank. I got three replacement Atlantis coils and a bag of bacon cotton, which I have not used bacon cotton that I know of yet. If I have some, I put it in a little bag and gave it to me, but I've not used it straight out of one of these yet. Um, it looks like it's one solid sheet all the way across. I haven't even opened this yet. I haven't even got to it yet. But it looks like it's one solid sheet all the way across. So I don't think I've used this yet. Um, been hearing a lot of good stuff about it. A lot of people say it's, um, you know, it's Japanese cotton, but a lot of people say it's, um, I don't know, it's, I guess it's got some different fibers or something in there. I don't know. I'll have to tear it apart and look at it. Still haven't done it. But I got all that for, I think I got it for 35 bucks and that was after the $10 off coupon. So I had like a $45 bill or something like that and I got it for 30 bucks plus $5 shipping, something like that. So for 30 bucks, all that good stuff, um, not too shabby. Um, I don't know what the coupon code is. I might have a referral code, and if I do, I will put it up in the description, and you can go look around, and that referral code, if I can find it, I'm pretty sure I have one, will get you $10 off of any $35 purchase or more, okay? Um, plus, I guess, um, if that's the case, every time somebody does that, I get the same deal or something like that, or I can just use somebody else's coupon. I don't know. Plus, you get rewards points over there and all that good stuff. You can cash those in and uh, have you know gift cards and all that crap. But that's uh, that's all I got for you today on the E Leaf Mello or Milo, however you want to pronounce it. Um, Mello, I think it would have two L's, right? I don't know. Not a bad little performer. Take it easy, YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay classy.